In this video, I'll be showcasing two easy ways to farm for Seraph Crystals. These methods are for those people who don't have much experience with the raid bosses, or people who have tried but they struggle. Regardless, if you want to get Seraph Crystals fast, then this is the video for you. Firstly, I should mention that for these methods, you need to be on Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, otherwise the Seraph Crystals won't drop from the raid bosses. The only way to get Seraph Crystals on Normal mode or True Vault Hunter mode is by getting lucky on the slot machines in Flame Rock Refuge. So with that said, let's begin with the first method. So this first boss will require you to be beat the main story of the Captain Scarlet DLC, and then you will need to visit Shade in Oasis to get the quest to take on Master G. Once you have that, take a trip to Sanctuary on normal mode, because now you will need to farm the vendor machines for any longbow singularity grenade. It can be any element as long as it's longbow. The reason you want to get one on normal mode is so the grenade doesn't hurt you much when you throw it. After you have got a longbow singularity grenade, travel to Master G's arena located in Haters Foley. Once there, you will need to stand outside of the arena and proceed to throw the longbow singularity grenade near him, so it pulls him towards the gate. If you need a better reference of where to throw the grenades, just pause the video and watch where I throw them. Eventually, you will need to throw one on top of the roof of the cave in order to pull him up. Once he is near the gate, you can run in and throw one more. This will activate the boss and the gate will start to close. If you block the boss from moving, he will get crushed by the gate and all the loot and Seraph Crystals are yours. The pros of doing this method is that pretty much anybody can do it and the only gear you need is the longbow singularity grenade, as well as enough grenades to throw. The cons is that sometimes he will teleport away if you don't block him properly. If this happens, then you will need to save, quit and try again. This second method is basically defeating the boss Hyperius the Invincible located in the Washburn Refinery and is part of the Captain Scarlet DLC. However, I'm going to show you a way to defeat him in seconds and pretty much anyone can do this. I will say however that this does require to get some specific gear and does take a bit longer to set up, but don't worry I'll talk you through it. Firstly, you will need to play as Salvador, but I'll explain why later on. You will then need to get the following gear, a World Burn or Ahab, you will need to get a Slag Pimpernel, which you will need to read only farm for. So if you are on console and don't know how to do it, then I have a video linked in the description for it. You also need a B shield, and for the class mod, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. But if you want to be extra safe, then a class mod that has a 5 or 6 bonus to money shot will be good, or even a hoarder class mod would work. And finally, you will need a fire bone of the ancients, which can be farmed from loot midgets using the doctor's orders method. Here is the build I used, so make sure you copy it. The reason you need to play Salvador is because whilst gun zerking, you'll be transferring the damage from the launcher over to the Pimpernel, which increases the damage by millions. And finally, the last last step to setting this up is to go to the Dart Abandoned to get the semi-permanent damage glitch. To do this, go here on the map and park your car like this. Then when you stand in the poison gas, the enemies will start glowing. This means that if you fight the enemies whilst in the gas, you get a damage buff. But if you get back into your car while still in the gas, then you'll keep the damage buff for every enemy. The only way to lose it is by quitting the game. I'm not sure if you need to complete the DLC for this, but either way, it's pretty OP. Now get the quest from Shade and Oasis and make your way to the arena in Washburn Refinery. Make sure you have no ammo in your launcher for even more damage and then gun zerk, shoot Hyperius in the chest a couple of times, and there you go, you should have him dead. If he doesn't die after the first mag, then shoot his feet when he has the shield up. Once you have beat him, run out the arena and run back in, and he will respawn and you can keep doing it over and over. Technically, once you have enough crystals, you should never need to farm for them again, as you can just back up your save using the read-only method, put the item in the stash, and then download your save. That way, you will still have the item you brought, but you will also still have the crystals. If you don't understand how to kill Hyperius the Invincible, then I'll have a written guide in the description. Anyway, I hope this helped. Please consider subscribing to the channel and have a great day.